Kayla here. I'm so excited to see you again this week. Kayla and I enjoyed looking at all your sky books and the beautiful pictures that you drew. I hope you got a chance to make more observations over the past week and add more pages to your sky book. Today, we're going to look even further into the sky and learn about the stars. Are you ready to get started? Here we go! Hi Daisies! Welcome back to week two of our virtual Space Explorers program. We are so excited that you're joining us again this week. My name is Kayla Roloffs and I am the Youth Outreach Manager for Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. Nova and I were so happy to see such awesome projects shared with us on our Facebook page last week. We saw so much creativity from troops, not just in our council, but throughout the United States and even beyond. We saw projects from Troop 5555 in Springfield, Pennsylvania, to projects from Troop 398 from Sartell, Minnesota, right where I'm from, and even projects from Troop 46182 in Round Rock, Texas. That doesn't even begin to cover the number of pictures that we saw from people throughout the whole country. It was just so, so awesome to see so much creativity from all over the place. Before we get started with our project today, I'd like to start with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. So if everyone could raise their right hand with their three fingers in the air, we'll get started. On my honor, I will try to serve God in my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. All right, daisies. So last week in our session, we made a sky book and spent some time observing the sky outside of our house. As I could tell from the Facebook pictures, it looked like different parts of the country were seeing the sky in different ways. Um, some places it was really cloudy, some places it was really sunny, some places it was raining. Um, so the sky can look really different depending on where you are or what day you're looking. Did anyone get a chance to observe the sky any more last week? Sometimes from your house, the sky can look different too. You don't have to be in a totally different place. Um, for this activity, we are going to be making a important tool that scientists use in observing the sky. So you are going to need an empty toilet paper or a paper towel tube or you can use a piece of construction paper rolled up into a tube. Whatever you have lying around the house, feel free to use that. You don't have to use one specific thing. Um, once you do that, grab your favorite art supplies and we get to decorate. Space scientists study the moon. They also study the sun and the stars and the planets and everything else that we find up in the sky. Today, we're going to learn about the most important tool to space scientists. Can anyone guess what that might be? Did anyone guess a telescope? Today, we're going to make our own telescopes and using our creativity, pretend we're NASA scientists and work on observing the sky. There are countless numbers of stars in the sky. Stars are bright balls of excess gas. Do you know what the biggest star in our solar system is? That's right, it's the sun. It takes about eight minutes for a light to travel from the sun and arrive at Earth. Wow, that's fast. Here in the United States, we have a program called NASA. NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA scientists and engineers work on rocket ships and use tools 
to learn about outer space and everything that you find out there. The telescopes that we make today won't have the powerful mirrors or lenses like the NASA's telescopes do, but they will help us narrow down our field of view to focus in on very specific shapes. That's right, Kayla. NASA actually has telescopes that are up in space and can take pictures of the sky trillions of miles away. Here are a few pictures that were taken from the Hubble telescope. Aren't they beautiful? It's so interesting to see how the sky looks from a different perspective. Are you ready to make your telescope? All right, let's grab our art supplies. So you can decorate your telescope however you would like, but it should represent something special about you as a scientist. I decorated mine with one of my favorite constellations, it's Cygnus. It looks like a giant swan. And then I kind of did sort of like a galaxy drawing in the background, just because I'm going to be using my telescope to look at space. Once you're done coloring it, you can put a piece of tape at one end of your piece of paper and tape it to your toilet paper roll. And then you're just going to wrap your design around the outside of it and you can grab another piece of tape to stick it together. Now my telescope is ready to use. So when you're all done and it's all ready to go, you have a few different options for how you can use it. If you can, let's wait until tonight to go outside with an adult and take a look at the night sky. If it's kind of like where it is where I am right now and it's raining and cloudy, you can use your telescope inside and take a look at different objects around your room. The really great thing about your telescope is that it kind of narrows your field of view so you can really focus in on certain objects and it kind of helps you um, observe them a little bit closer and in a different sort of way than you might otherwise. Telescopes can really help us focus in on the sky. When we look at the night sky, what may look like just a group of stars can actually start to take shape. Let's take a closer look. Many stars together form recognizable patterns in the sky called constellations. As the Earth makes its orbit around the sun and the seasons change, we see different constellations in the night sky. Isn't that interesting, girls? During the next week, take an adult and go outside on two different nights and see if anything looks different. How does the moon look? Does it look the same as it did the last time you checked? What about the sky? What kind of things do you notice change and what kind of things seem to stay the same? I'm excited to see all of the pictures that you draw in your skybook as to what you see through your telescope. So now that we're wrapping up for this week, share something that you learned today with someone else. Did you notice a different way to observe things? We really hope that you join us again next week as we learn about the man or the woman in the moon. See you next week. Bye girls, we'll see you again next week.